Hello friends. Now today we are going to see the GAM terminology and what are their basic terms. So basically, this is the configuration diagram for the GAM terminology. And now we will see in detail each and every point. So what is the first definition? That is the CAM profile. So CAM profile is nothing but it is the actual working profile or contour which is drawn along the follow. Means it is the surface where the follow will be remains in contact with respect to each other. So here if you see, so this is the uh, roller follower and whatever the profile, this blue line we are plotted. So there is nothing but the CAM profile. With the help of curve, we can draw the CAM profile. So this is the CAM profile. Next definition is the base circle. So the base circle, it is the smallest circle. If you see here, it is the smallest circle which is drawn concentric to the CAM. So this circle is called as the base circle. The next is the stress point. So the stress point for the roller forward will be the center of the roller. And for the knife edge here, the knife point, the point knife edge will be in contact with the base circle. So trace point for the knife edge follower will be here and trace point for the roller follower will be the center of the roller. Then next definition is the peach curve. So what is this peach curve? So when the follower it moves related to the cam, means the rotary motion of cam. So whatever the curve which is generated by the trace point is called as the peach curve. So here if you see, so this will be the peach curve. So whatever the path, this particular trace point is traveling, will be known as what? The peach curve. So this is the, uh, whatever, this is the uh, cam profile and this two, three, one, these are the center of that roller for that particular follower position. And whatever the curve we are drawing, that curve is called as what? The peach curve, okay? Then, <clears throat> next is the pressure angle. So pressure angle is nothing but is the angle between the direction of the follower motion and whatever the normal we are drawing to the peach curve will give you directly the pressure angle and next definition is the peach point so what is this peach point so it is the point on the peach curve having the maximum pressure angle so that point will be designated as the peach point and uh, peach circle will be nothing but what that whatever the circle we are drawing through this peach point will be the peach circle here if you see this is the point where the pressure angle is maximum and whatever the circle we have drawn is nothing but the peach circle then next, it will be what, whatever, what is the next definition? It is the reciprocating motion. So this will be the reciprocating motion and this will be the total follower travel. So the, for uh, rise and fall, this follower will move up and down and it will be remain for at standstill position for the dwell part. Then next definition is uh, prime circle. So what is this circle? So it is the smallest circle that can be drawn to the camp center and it will be tangent to the peach curve. This will be the prime circle. Then lift. Lift means what? The rise part. That is the stroke. It is the maximum displacement of follower from the base circle. So it, it will be uh, doing the angle of ascent. That part is also called as angle of ascent. Then uh, cam angle. Cam angle is nothing but it is the angle of rotation of cam for the particular displacement of the follower, which will be having some different value. Next definition, it is the angle of ascent. So angle of ascent is nothing but the angle of rise. So it is the angle through which the cam is moving or turning when the follower is rising. So whatever that angle travel is called as angle of ascent. The next is angle of descent. So in this case, the follower will be coming in to its initial position and whatever the angle turned by the cam will be the angle of descent. The next definition is angle of well. So what is this angle of dwell? So in this dwell position, the follower will be remaining at a stationary part, means it will be remain stationary at one certain instant. It may be our higher or lower position. So whatever the angle traveled by that cam during this dwell position is called as angle of dwell. Then angle of action is nothing but, so total angle turned by the cam during its start of rise to the end of, or the return of the follower. So this part is called as angle of action. Thank you.